Having a learning disability does not make you dumb at all. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna need this one for this video. I had to crack open my bottle of Glen Flintage 12. Pretty smooth. So, every once in a while, I give an in-depth video on who I am on this channel. I, I think this is video number three where I talk about who I am. Um, if you guys are subscribed to this channel, and it's important for you guys to know who are you watching. So, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about can people with learning disabilities have any type of success on YouTube? But before we get into it, make sure that you guys hit the thumbs up button. Please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Let's make this video go, go viral because this is a video that I think that a lot and millions of people need to see in order for them to have enough confidence to start their own YouTube channel, no matter what struggles that they have in the education system, no matter what learning disability that they have, that if they see this video, it could encourage them. So hit the thumbs up video. Let's help this video go viral in order to help millions of other kids and adults out there today and also just watch it all the way through to the end that also help the youtube algorithm if you want to help at all so a lot of you guys are asking right now why am i talking about learning disabilities you seem like a pretty cool guy well uh if you've been watching this channel for a very long time or just even recently a new subscriber you could probably already tell what disability i have just from watching my last five videos 10 videos 20 videos it's, it's probably easy very very easy for you guys to pick up on what i struggle with and it is clearly i have a mild form of dyslexia now, I can't spell dyslexia, that's the problem of dyslexia, but that's exactly what it is. Dyslexia is when you, you see words out of order. It, it, you really can't explain it to someone that doesn't have it because you don't have it, but you see words or letters out of order and you usually struggle with reading, speech, or spelling. And me personally, I struggle severely, severely with spelling. I can read, I can write, but when it comes to spelling, oh man, it is horrible. Now, when I say mild form of dyslexia, uh, I struggle with spelling a lot, but when I'm reading sometimes, I see words out of order. It's the correct words, I know how to pronounce them, but I see them completely out of order, and it's really hard to explain and it's really hard to explain if you don't have it, but it, it is, it is, it's hard to explain. It's just hard to explain. You see words out of order. It, I can't explain how, and I don't know how you see them out of order. Like a word would literally be at the end of the sentence. I didn't get to that word yet. So how am I saying this word at the beginning of the sentence? When I haven't even got to that word, like how did my brain, how does it even pick that up or say words out of order? It's, I don't know how how that's even possible, but that's how dyslexia works. We really can't explain it. And growing up, I really didn't know what dyslexia was. Nobody knew what dyslexia was, but uh, we kind of figured something was wrong when I had, I, it was a, a program called Hooked on Phonics, right? So me and my family already knew that I had a problem with spelling. And Hooked on Phonics was like a, a program for kids in the elementary grade level or middle school grade level to where it tried to help you learn how to spell, read, and write. And Hooked on Phonics really didn't help me at all. And when you are in school growing up, they used to joke on kids, oh, you're on Hooked on Phonics, you're on Hooked on Phonics. So I never really told anybody I was on, on Hooked on Phonics because that pretty much mean, oh, you were dumb, you were dumb. And no, one, and no one really questioned me if I was ever on Hooked on Funnies, A, because I made straight A's. At the end of the day, school was very, very easy to me. I, having a learning disability does not make you dumb at all, right? It don't make you dumb at all. I'm very smart. I made top grades in my class. I made straight A's. Occasionally, I made a B. 
I graduated high school in the top 15% of my class. I had pretty much straight A's. I graduated passing calculus. I excelled in math, but I always struggled in English. And then I went on to college. I graduated in just three years from college. I, earned, I ended up getting two degrees, and then I ended up graduating from the University of Houston with my master's degree. So school was always super easy to me. If I, if true, to be honest, if I wanted to go back and get my doctorate, I could do it because school is just easy to me. But when it comes to everyday life, like reading uh, just literature or reading road signs, I would see words out of order and it was always a struggle to me, hooked on funnest in work. So when it comes down to it, I'm dyslexic. Now, what does that have to do with YouTube? If you guys, <laughs> whoo, if you guys have been watching my channel, you would know that I have a problem pronouncing tons and tons and tons of words and i say um a million times in my video i say um so much to where people unsubscribe from my channel because i say um i mean that's 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 fucked up don't unsubscribe from my channel because i say um you don't know me bro like dang just stick around just annoy the um because i really go through and edit out a ton of ums that you guys don't see but it's i say um so much because i don't write scripts so every everything i'm giving you guys is pretty much off the top of my dome i can rehearse it sometimes it's a lot of editing but i don't write scripts a lot of youtubers write scripts and their videos come out amazing it just flows so well but i can't write scripts because if i have a teleprompter and i have a script going through the teleprompter once again, I'm dyslexic, so that script is just gonna look like a bunch of letters and words to me that's scrolling up and down, and I would have to scroll back through the teleprompter so many times in order to get a script to look right. So that's one problem of having dyslexia and trying to do YouTube is that you gotta go off the top of your dome. You gotta go off your head. And you can't really write scripts or stick to a script because the script is not going to help you at all if at all it's going to be a hindrance which is a struggle for me and which is a struggle for me in my youtube channel now when it comes to me going off the top of my dome i do say words out of order sometimes and i can't pronounce a lot of words and i'm also from texas houston texas where we have so much slang and country slang down here that my dialect can't even pronounce some of these stock words correctly just because I'm Southern, which is an even more hindrance on me being successful on YouTube. So do I think having a learning disability set me back on YouTube? Yes, because I would love for my, my videos to flow so smoothly and where I speak so smoothly and I could pronounce every word so smoothly 